No! Come on! This time I'm on the VR guinea pig. No! No! <laughs> I, want, I want to reach out and punch them. You feel like you're under attack. There's no two ways about it. Not stopping though. Until we hit 100. I'm not stopping till I hit 100. What's up, Rifters? Flake here. So it's been a while, and for that, I'm very, very sorry. Um, but there's been so much going on um, with, you know, with Rift Max and all these other projects, Rift Max Live. I mean, there's just been so much uh, going on in the VR community um, that I just haven't been able to get to uh, demos and videos lately. But hey, we're gonna make up for that today. And for all of y'all, I hope today was a special day, as it was for me, where I was able to pre-order DK2. Sure, it was a little painful, but we got there. So um, I'm pretty happy. I mean, is it July yet? So today we're gonna be checking out a very early version of a demo by the developer behind Lunar Flight and Flack. I'm sure most of you know him, uh, Sean Edwards, uh, also known as Shover uh, of Shovesoft. He's an Australian developer, and uh, the guy's an absolute G. All of his demos and games are just absolutely sick, so I'm sure this will be uh, no different. Um, now, unfortunately, this is not yet ready for release to the public, but luckily for us, uh, we've got it. Sean was cool enough to hook us up with a early version. Thanks, Sean. Uh, so we're gonna all experience this together. It's called ZVR or ZVR for my Canadian homies. Um, and links to everything Shover related will be below. Now, of course, it's, since it's not released, I can't give you a link to it, but um, I'll give you links to everything else uh, that Shover is, uh, has done. And if you like this at all, you will definitely like everything he's done before. Like I said, he's an amazing developer. So without further ado, ZVR. All right, so here we are, ZVR Apocalypse, um, and a couple things before we get into it. Number one, lovely enough, it uses the Xbox controller. It makes me happy. Uh, number two, before we get into it, another reminder, this is a very, very early version of, of, of this demo, so expect any versions that you actually see may look entirely different or substantially different. Um, so, you know, this is just just a test run uh, of where the build's at. So, let's get into it, ZVR, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're being dropped off by this chopper. You're on sort of a, a turret. Now, the way the arm moves, in my opinion, is a little weird, the wrist movement and everything, but, you know, minor details. You can see right off the bat, there's, they move at different speeds, so you have your kind of crack at it, zombie. Get off me. And then you have regular lazy zombie. And I think it's really all about dealing with the crack addict zombies as a priority. Now this happens so fast and it's so in your face. Ah. I can't even talk. Ah! Okay, we're gonna try that again. So yeah, the textures are really cool. Um, the lighting is awesome. Just looks really nice. Look at these air conditioners behind you. Um, I'm just gonna get killed, but let's just look around for a minute. This card is cool. The uh, lighting effects um, and uh, the shadows are really neat. You can see as these guys come in and they, and they you know, whatever, swipe you. I don't know why they're not biting me. They're just swiping, but uh, you can see, I like how I'm pointing, but you can see uh, there are shadows everywhere. Just very well done, show. Okay, now it's actually shooting. I'm gonna actually try to get, I'd like to try to break the 100 mark. But I don't know if that's even, I don't know, is that possible? You never run out of bullets and your, your machine gun never overheats. So you never have to worry about that aspect. From an immersive perspective, I mean, when these guys are, are hitting you and, and the blood splattering, it is so right in your face. I mean, it's very intense. Now, there's this cool punching mechanism, which I really like for a number of reasons. But um, one thing that's cool is that you can continue to lay fire this way, and then while looking this way, you can punch these zombies in the face. So I can continue to kind of keep them at bay while I look and, and, and kind of keep the majority of my focus on my right. And I think that's cool. And the other thing that's cool is that 
Hold on, I can't speak. Being overwhelmed. Ah, terrible death. Um, but, okay. Minute and 15 seconds. We'll do better. So I love how when you're shooting uh, at this car or other objects, um, how they either ricochet or absorb by the concrete. I think that's very cool. Um, I do love the head movement uh, that you know you use in order to land punches in the right place i think that's really cool and it, and it works very well um but yeah i mean this game is not easy grenades would be cool other guns multiplayer where you, you're, you're working the right side and you got a buddy on the left side would be kind of neat It'd be cool if they warmed you up a little bit. Kind of was easy and it ramped up. I mean, this is just right out of the gates. You're just shit out of luck. There's not, you know, a million levels and all kinds of crazy uh, weapons and stuff. It's just, this is what it is, at least at that point. But it's a blast to play. And that just says so much um, without all the, you know, tricks and, and, and gags and stuff. It's just fun and playable. Can't hit this guy in the face! Oh, oh fuckers. I want, I want to reach out and punch them. I'd like to know what Shover's high score is. This thing is no joke. That's what's fun though. If it's too easy, you're not going to play it. I like how you can move your head around. To land punches. Oh, right in the face. You feel like you're under attack. There's no two ways about it. These fast guys. I feel like I'm doing it right right now. Yes. Come on, you little bitches. See, now the intensity's picking up. Oh. Have I been able to hold off these little bitches? Come here. Get out of here. Oh, of course, this guy's just out of my range. You shit. You fuck. No! Come on! I was all fucking doing well! Ah! 53. Like, what's it gonna take to get to 100? I'm not stopping, though. Until we hit 100. I'm not stopping till I hit 100. I think one more hit and I'm dead. I don't know, what do you think? 79, come on! What's it gonna take for me to hit 100? Well, I think I'm gonna have to call it for now because I have somewhere to be, but 79, not so bad. Um, wow, is that fun? Wow, is that fun? All right. All right, so that was EVR and that was a lot of fun and that's my favorite part of all of Shover's games is they're fun. Because if your games aren't fun, you're not going to want to play them. So no matter how cool and well-developed and, and, and uh, artistic you, your game may, may be, if it's not fun, nobody's going to want to play it. Um, or at least I won't. Um, and this game is really, really fun. I love the Xbox controller aspect. Because uh, coming from a console world, it's very, very helpful for me. Um, I like that punch mechanics and the leaning. I like how you can fire left and look right or vice versa. I think the key to a really immersive experience is that ability to... Um, you know, fight one way and look over your shoulder. Um, and I think Shover really nailed it in this one. Um, frame rate was not an issue at all. No VR sickness, um, no motion blur at all. It was just perfect. So well done. I don't know how you did it, but well done on that uh, basis. Um, the your character's arms are a bit funky. They don't move really wrong. There's just something weird about it. I can't, maybe it's the wrist or something, but, um, you know, the scale is really cool, um, you know, for you to the rest of your body. Um, and same thing is true for um, the scale throughout the entire game, the textures, very, very solid. Um, you know, but it's a very hard game. I was able to get to 79 kills as my max, and I was playing for over an hour. I was able to play for over an hour, so that in itself is an amazing VR experience. 
but I was, you know, hard to, to rack up kills. So be neat if there's an arcade mode, some other modes, uh, different levels, of course, maybe co-op where, where, you know, you could have one guy covering left, one right, and, um, you, know, th you know, those sort of multiplayer aspects. But uh, different guns, grenades, uh, healing. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that expect healing. Um, and, you know, for whatever that, that is, um, some people crave it. So... Uh, you definitely be able to stay in the game longer, and it'd be neat to have a mode at least as an option. But all in all, a super awesome uh, experience, really, really fun, and I can't wait to see what Shover comes up with for any sort of a final release or even a, a release of a demo um, to the public. Because as cool as this is, um, you know, I know that this guy will do a ton more. Uh, and I'm uh, really excited to see what that is and what he implements. But as it is right now, just like Flack, I could play the the heck out of this game um, and, uh, and and will. So, anyways, that was uh, that was uh, a ZBR, and uh, I loved it. So as I mentioned, links to all things Shover will be below. Uh, unfortunately, this game is not yet uh, ready to be released, but if you like this, you'll like everything else he's done. Um, and a big thanks to Sean himself for hooking us up with this experience uh, at such an early stage. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure you all will enjoy it as well. Um, and of course, a big thanks also to the entire VR community for your continued support. And of course, if you haven't yet done it, make sure to subscribe, and we will see you soon. Now, today, oh, DK2, how about that DK2 today? All right, so that was ZVR, and boy, was that a good time. Um, so as I mentioned, everything, uh, blah. until then, ugh. oh, hello, I'm back, and uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know what's that. Virtual reality guinea pig.